I'm Coach Lindsay. Thank you as always for joining me. Welcome to today's chair cardio class. We're gonna be getting our heart rates up. Make sure that you have a towel and some water close by. We're going to be kind of doing a sort of high intensity interval uh, style of workout. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it all here shortly. All you need today is a chair. We're not leaving the chair at all. So make sure you have a nice, sturdy, hard backed chair to sit in. And then also just a set of really light weights. I have three pound weights. We're only using this for one exercise and it's technically optional for the exercise. This is just to kind of add a little bit more resistance, but if you wanna just do this with just your arms, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you have these nearby if you plan to use some sort of weight or resistance. That is about it. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into our warm up. So to start with our warm up, we're gonna do what's called half jacks, basically a jumping jack in the chair. So make sure that you are nice and uh, situated on your chair, a couple inches scooted forward so you have good core engagement for this. And then we're just gonna take our left leg out and our left arm over. So so it looks similar to this simultaneously. Go ahead and join me whenever you're ready. So I'll talk a little bit about the workout here today. What we're gonna be doing is a basically a 45 second on, 15 second off style workout. So um, we're there, there's gonna be six exercises total that we're gonna repeat twice. So I like to repeat sets because it's always a good, good opportunity to kind of feel out the exercise in that first set and then practice it or improve in it in that second set. So. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Um, so pay attention to your pacing. Make, make sure that you can sustain the exercise for that 45 seconds. And then make sure you're not working too hard to where then you're not being able to recover in that 15 seconds, but as always take more time to recover if you need to. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into some side reaches here. So steady those legs, reach out to the side. You can kind of punch a little bit or you can just do some side reaches. Nice and gentle here, good core engagement. This is a good warm up for one of the weighted workouts that we're gonna do. So I'll let you kind of guess what that workout is. You can see if you're right once we come to it. So as always, I'm not gonna let you forget to keep that core nice and engaged in the chair. It can be very, very easy because we're taking away that lower body stability to let our core, uh, our core engagement and our core form sacrifice. So making sure you're keeping that core nice and squeezed Nice and engaged, belly button to the spine. Great job, Mighty Family. Couple more here, and then we're gonna bring in that lower body or switch to that lower body. In three, two, and one, we're gonna take the lower body out for just some kicks. So feel free to hang on to the base of that chair just for support to make sure that you're not leaning back too far, okay? So again, we're keeping that core nice and engaged. Nice and light on the toes here, just getting the quads, hamstrings, hips all warmed up. We are gonna be using our entire body today, which is kind of nice. <laughs> nice and uh, good to get every touch point there. Also get the heart rate up quite a bit. About 20 more seconds here, Mighty Family, and then we'll start with our first exercise, our first set. So there won't be a lot of rest. I mean, there'll be the 15 second rest, but otherwise, we're gonna just kind of run through the six exercises pretty quickly. So um, make sure you're taking your rest periods, making sure you're stopping. I'm going to preview the next exercise during your 15 second rest. So don't follow along with me right away. I will let you know when you can follow along. Um, unless of course you feel like you wanna keep that body moving the entire time. Remember this is your workout. So you wanna go about it as you feel like is best for you. So go ahead and pause. I'll show you that first exercise. They're called in and outs. So it's basically just an abduction and adduction. So hands on the hips, toes are nice and light on the floor and we're in and out, okay? So go ahead and join me in three, two, and one. We're here for 45 seconds. Remembering to keep that core nice and engaged. We don't wanna lean back very far here. So if you feel like your core is a little bit weak here, hold on to the base of the chair, okay? That's gonna help you stay nice and straight doing this exercise. So go at your own pace. Remember, this is the first time around. So if you feel like you need to slow down a little bit and then you can try speeding it up afterwards in the second set, totally fine. We've got 15 seconds left here. Feet nice and light. Hips are burning. We're working those muscles as well as that heart here. Five seconds, mighty family. Three, two, 
and one. Rest it out, let your body relax. I'm gonna show you the next exercise, which is a combination of what we just did with what we call goal post arms, okay? So as your legs go out, your arms are gonna come down. So just like this, go ahead and join me in three, two, and one. We're here for 45 seconds, in and out. This is this core engagement is very important here because we're taking away the stability of holding onto the chair or having our hands on our hips, okay? So, whoop, <laughs> a little bit of uh, coordination here. Awesome job, Mighty Family. Keep going, really squeeze that core. 30 or 15 seconds left for 30 seconds in. Great job, keep going. Two exercises in, we got a ways to go here. We're already tired, that's okay. Three, two, and one. Relax, grab some water if you need to. This is your 15 second rest. I'll preview the next exercise, what we call up and downs, okay? So legs are gonna come a little bit wider than shoulders, and then we're basically just reaching up and down. Okay, so your range of motion here kind of depends on how far you're comfortable going. If you wanna to touch your shins, that's fine. If you wanna just come to your knees and reach up, that's fine too, okay? Let's go ahead and begin in three, two, and one. We're down and up. Now, with this core engagement, <laughs> of course, is very important. If you lose that core engagement, you're gonna to start to feel some strain in your lower back, okay? So if you start to feel that strain in your lower back, don't come down as far. Just come down to your shins or your knees. Great job. Think of this as a seated burpee, <laughs> kind of. Three seconds here. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and rest. Weight punches. This is where your weights are gonna come into play. So if you guessed weight punches, you were correct. Let's go ahead and grab those weights. Don't begin just yet. Take that rest. They're gonna look just like this, okay? So we're just punching across our body. Go ahead and join me. Three, two, and one. Feet should be flat on the ground. That's gonna help you stay nice and stable and straight. Again, you do not have to use weights for this. If you feel like the resistance in your upper body is causing your core to lose its engagement, drop the weights. We don't need them. Our arms weigh something. So you can use that as your resistance. Great job, Mighty Family. After this, we have two exercises, then we get a nice long break. Hang in there, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Perfect, drop those weights. That's the only exercise we need the weights for. Next exercise is seated jack. So different than our half jacks, this is where we're basically kind of doing a full jack. So legs are gonna go out straight while our arms come up. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, so go straight, straighten your legs about as far as they can go. Being in the chair, you're not gonna be able to straighten them all the way, all right? Let's go ahead and begin in three, two, and one. Out and in. You're kind of making a starfish, essentially, but also a jumping jack. So really squeeze that core here, squeeze those quad muscles. That's gonna help with that extension of the legs. If you have some mobility um, limitations with bringing the, the arms over your shoulders, you can kind of do a, a goal post. Whoop, I'm losing my coordination. So you can do that as well, but totally up to you. Play around with it. 10 seconds here. Awesome job, Mighty Family. Three, two, and one, 15 seconds here, rest. I will show you the last exercise before we get a nice long break. So flutter kicks, this is a lot of core work here. Also a very good cardio exercise as well, but you're gonna wanna scoot a little bit forward in your chair, grip the base of your chair, extend those legs out, and then we just flutter. So kind of like you're in a pool, right? And you're fluttering your legs. So you're gonna feel your core engage. It's gonna be a lot of quad work as well. So let's go ahead and begin. In three, two, and one. Legs nice and straight. Make sure to grip the base of that chair there. Really squeeze those quads and the calves. Flutter at whatever speed you feel is appropriate for you. If you need to slow it down at this point, totally fine. We've only got about 15 seconds left. Hang on to it. Quads are burning. Awesome job, Mighty Family. Three, two, 
and one. Ooh, relax those legs, sit deep in your chair. We're gonna be here for a minute, so take a nice long break if you want to. Otherwise, if you want to keep your body moving, go ahead and just join me in a quick march here. We're gonna want to really bring our heart rate down nice and slowly, but essentially all the way here so that we can feel prepared to go into the next set of those six exercises, okay? So do what you need to do. Big inhales in and out. Do some stretching here if you need to as well to stretch out those muscles that we're using. We've got about 30 seconds left here. So some things to pay attention to. How did that first set feel? Were you out of breath? Come that 45 seconds and maybe that 15 seconds wasn't enough. So maybe we go a little bit slower this time or vice versa. If you wanna to try to speed it up and challenge yourself, I encourage it, of course. So we've got about 10 seconds left here. So get your final drink of water, towel off if we're perspiring. And we're gonna go ahead and start with those leg in and outs in about three seconds here. So scoot a couple inches up, hands on the hips, toes nice and light, and let's begin here, in and out. 45 seconds, same thing as the first set, but now you kind of have a good feel of what you're doing, what it feels like. If you wanna try to speed it up a little bit, I'm gonna try to speed it up just slightly. I might regret that, but you know what? We gotta challenge ourselves, right? That's how we grow. Nice and light on the toes. 15 seconds here, Mighty Family. Remember to keep that core nice and engaged. Great job. Five seconds, hold on to it. Three, two, and one, rest. Ooh, we're a little bit tired this time around, that's okay. All right, as a reminder, next exercise is the same in and outs, but bringing in the goal post. So we are up as we're in, and then down as we're out, okay? Go ahead and join me in three, two, and one. Really squeezing those shoulder blades with those goal posts. That's gonna help with posture, strengthening those scapula muscles behind your back, or in your back. Great job, really squeeze that core. Light on the toes here. Make sure you're breathing through these exercises. It can be really easy to hold your breath as you're doing something really hard, but keep breathing in and out, usually in and then out during the hardest part of the exercise. So in as we're in and breathe out as we extend our legs out and our arms down. Five seconds here. Great job, Mighty Family. Three, two, and one, relax. Shake those hips out. We're doing a lot of hip work. We're gonna get into those up and down reaches, okay? So again, remember your range of motion. Remember that core engagement. We wanna not feel any pressure or strain on our lower back here. And we are gonna go ahead and begin in three, two, and one. So we're up and down. Touch that floor if you can. If not, go at the shins like this, or just touch the knees, okay? Totally up to you. Great job, Mighty Family. Halfway through, if you feel ever so inclined, speed it up a little bit. It's always a good, always a good point in the workout to speed it up halfway through. Really challenge yourself here. 15 seconds. Great job, Mighty Family. Woo. Five seconds, you got this. Three, two, and one. All right, take a breather but also grab your weights because this is where we have the weight punches. Again, light, light weights here. I got three pounds. This time around, you wanna drop the weights, totally fine as well. Nice and tall posture here. Roll those shoulders down and away from the ears. And we're gonna begin in three, two, and one. Punching right out in front of you. Slightly twisting, so make sure to engage the core. Feet should be flat on the ground. And then make sure you're not rocking back and forth with this, okay? We don't wanna see this. If you're doing this, your weights are too heavy and you should drop them. Awesome job. 15 seconds left here, we got this. Great job, Mighty Family, five seconds, hold on to it. Three, two, and one, drop those weights. 
I guess you could keep the weights too if you wanted to use them for seated jacks, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. We are gonna go ahead and begin with those seated jacks in about five seconds. So again, take your rest, get yourself composed, and let's go ahead and begin. So as legs come out, arms are gonna come up and down. Great job. Really engage that core. Try not to be rocking back in your chair as your legs go out and your arms come up. Form matters, I promise, even in the chair. Halfway through here. Make sure those toes are nice and light on the floor. 10 seconds here, you got this. We only have one exercise left and then we get to cool down. Three, two, and one. All right, relax. Take a big deep breath in and out. We've got one exercise left, so make this the best one, okay? Flutter kicks, scoot a little forward into your chair. Grip the base of your chair there. We're gonna extend those legs, and we're gonna begin in three, two, and one. Nice light flutters here, okay? We're not, we're not doing scissor kicks. These are scissor kicks. These are flutter kicks, okay? So like pretend like you're in the pool and you're just swimming away, fluttering away. Really squeeze that core. Keep those quads nice and nice and uh, engaged. <laughs> squeeze those quads, squeeze those calves halfway through. Speed that flutter up. This is the last workout. This is where you can push yourself to the very end. You've got 15 seconds, speed it up. Great job, Mighty Family. Whoo, 10 or five seconds, almost done. Three, two, and one, whoo, relax those legs. Deep breath, that is a tough one. Go ahead and situate yourself back in your chair here. We're gonna just cool it down, so we're gonna take a nice inhale up, bring those arms up all the way, and then we're gonna cross and grab that elbow for a tricep stretch. Big inhales and exhales here. Bring those arms back up and down, really open up that chest. Let's do that again on the other side here. So arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring that uh, left arm or whatever arm you did do the first time down. Pat yourself on the back for that tricep stretch. Pat yourself on the back as well to celebrate what you just did. Basically 18 minutes of straight movement. We didn't really have a whole lot of rest in there, so be proud of that. All right, release that arm. Arms come up, open up that chest as we come down. Next, we're gonna do a hip stretch. We did a lot of hip movement with those in and outs. So we're gonna take our left ankle, place it on top of our right knee, and then we're gonna take our left hand, push down on that left knee just ever so slightly till you feel that nice stretch in the outer hip. Again, remembering to take big deep breaths in and out to slowly bring that heart rate down. It's so important to actively br bring that heart rate down. And as soon as you're done with the cardio exercise, you should never just stop moving because that can be very dangerous and releasing that heart rate and blood pressure down. So always make sure to do a nice cool down and stretch after cardio. Great job, switch legs. This time right leg, right ankle comes on top of left knee, right hand hits on that right knee. Remember just to push down ever so slightly. We should not feel any pain in the hips here, but just a nice stretch. Figure four is probably one of my favorite hip stretches. Awesome job, Mighty Family. One last part of our cool down here. We're gonna release that leg. We're gonna take our legs nice and wide here and we're just gonna sink into a forward fold. So big inhale as those arms come up and then just slowly forward fold down. So this is where you can basically just let yourself hang. Let the tension from your lower back release. Let your arms just sway nice and low on the ground. And then go ahead and roll yourself back up nice and easy. And you are done. Please feel free to stretch a little bit more if you need it. But thank you so much for joining me for today's chair cardio. I am sweaty, I hope you are too, and I'll see you next time. If you would like to attend more live classes like these, click the link in the description below.